Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. All right, when we left off, we had just gotten done with Abernathy Farm and adding some defenses to that area. And now we're heading back home to plant some of the corn and mute fruit that we got from them, which will be crucial to our adhesive farm efforts. So, heading right back as quickly as we can, sprinting all the way. Whee! Don't know why I'm saying we. <laughs> I'm not in a vehicle, so it's less fun. Okay, that was his footsteps. <laughs> Dogmeat, you really got to stop doing that. Okay, now we head inside and set up some of our little planting area. I believe we wanted to get rid of the gourds here. Yeah, at least I wanted to get rid of the gourds. Uh... Yeah, we can't scrap this. It's annoying. So we'll just store it. There we go. Um, end up putting... Where is it? Uh, which one should I do? This one or this one? That doesn't really matter either way, does it? Put that there. Eventually when it grows, I can plant one more and one more after that. And it'll work out well in that regard. Now the mute fruit. Uh, we already have the potatoes. We have plenty of friggin' potatoes, that's for sure. Uh, mute fruit. There we are. You have to plant it like a tree outside of the fence area a little bit, but not by much. I think right there ought to do it. There we go. And I want to take down some of these things. You know, uh, break that down. Blech. Can't say anything now. There we go. Take that. And take that, and that. There we go. Hey, Mama Murphy. Ugh, Mama Murphy, what you doing? Okay. Gonna be breaking down some things around here, because it just, you know... It's a large area, and a lot of the things around here is not stuff we actually need. So, we might as well just get it done and over with. These will not be broken down. For whatever reason, the game will not allow me to break them down and get rid of them. So... They stay there for the time being. <laughs> Don't know why they stay there, but hey, if it works, it works, right? All right, let's see if we can get the rest of these trees out of the way. For no other reason than they're an eyesore because they're all dead. And that's no good for me. Get rid of all this wood. There we go, and we'll have bunches, bunches of wood by the time this is done. Because this entire area is basically wood. <laughs> Basically, all of it's wood, really. Uh, and if it's not wood, it's steel made for the houses. And that's about it. Alright. I think that does us good for now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that does us good. Now, let's see what we got in terms of things around here. Let's drop all of our other stuff. And is anything special that I should grab? No, not really. Not really, that's for sure. Hmm. Let's grab... Yeah, well, we're going to move some of our workbench stuff a little bit. So we're going to need to do that, like, right away. Just so I have it in a place I can immediately get to it. So this. It's moved over here. Uh, a little bit more to the left. There we go. Uh, there. Uh, that work? Yeah, that works. They're pretty much right next to each other. Move this a little more this way. Back. And there. Okay, cool. And cooking station. Eh, yeah, cooking station's fine where it is, I guess. I guess. Because it's there. And it's within the area. Okay. And I think I already moved. Yeah, I moved that over there, so we're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is as good as it's going to get. Alright. We're good. I keep saying that. <laughs> uh, can I go in my home and sleep? No. I don't have a new bed in there. I do have the older one, though. So. Going to break down that. Thank you. These cabinets were not here. Or were they? I don't remember honestly 
They were not here in the original place. Oh well. I'm going to build myself a bed. There we are. Go up there. Uh, huh. I can make a sleeping bag, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a proper bed. Right. Can we make a larger one? Yes, we can. There we go. Perfect. I'm asleep for a few hours. Make it seven. Might as well. There we are. Perfect. Well, if it continues like it should. I was about to say, did it freeze? <laughs> or is it trying to process all the lighting? It's probably processing all the lighting. Ah, well. There we go. Hey, well rested. Nice. Uh, have you heard about the uh, new uh, survival mode? There we go. That they're going to be rebuilding from the ground up. Huh? That's going to be a thing. It's going to definitely be a thing. Sean's crib. I'll keep that there. I'll break this down. Yeah, apparently they're rebuilding it from the ground up to have all sorts of diseases and new additional stuff that'll actually be pretty cool. Uh, like the only way you can save is by sleeping in a bed. But some beds will determine how well and how much you're actually able to sleep. So that's actually going to be pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty psyched for it. I hope you are too. So otherwise, I just ranted about nothing. <laughs> okay, I think we're good here. Oh yeah, we have two of these here. Because I thought that would be brilliant. Don't know why. Anyway. I'm going to see what we got going on here. Might as well grab some of the steel around the area and break that down. All right. Uh, huh. This area I have apparently not been in and broken down yet. Uh, there. <laughs> like we're going to need any of this. There we go. Perfect. Let's see what else we got. Uh, radio, do not need that. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, we're all good here. When we need more beds, we'll probably put them here. Probably, key phrase. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's coming along quite nicely. Then there's this big old tree here that we can't do anything about. I have seen some people make tree houses out of this little tree here. Which would be cool, but I honestly don't know how to do it with the, uh, console version. When I figure it out, I will probably do that, but I'll have to test it on my own file first. Anyway, let's see how well the things grew. But first, break this down. There we are. Perfect. Now, has everything grown up? No. No, it is not yet. But we can get the potatoes. Seems to be growing well. Yep, that seems to be. There we go. Perfect. Uh, might as well grab a carrot. There we go. And we'll see what we can make in here. Nothing new. Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. I take that back. We can make right away. Hey, hey, nice. It's always good to have extra right away if you can do that. Refreshing beverage. Now that, that is useful. That is removes all radiation, cures addictions, and brings your HP up by 500 points. It's not percentages like HP, but it is very useful for the radiation and radiation alone. So, we're going to make a couple of those. Even though it takes a lot of antiseptic to make, but it could be worse. <laughs> and we might as well make a stim pack too, because why not? Uh, oh, oil. We can make oil. Nice. This is why we collect all those bones. <laughs> all right, and nothing really we can do about the syringer ammo because we don't even have a syringer. So, we'll just leave that alone for now. Why we're able to make the ammo before we have the gun is beyond me. But hey, if it works, it works. Anyway, I'm going to drop the oil in here. There we are, thank you. And I wonder, is there anything I can do with my current armor set? 
Holy shit, I'm holding on to a bunch of these. Why am I doing that? Uh, see, I'll need to get a rank in armor to be able to get it further up in these. But uh, I can at least do this. We do have the adhesive and leather for that. Or at least some of it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have enough leather for all of it. But for some of it, for sure. Uh, can I get pocketed? I can. Although that also costs some leather. Ugh, gonna do it. Gonna do it because it ends up helping me in the long run. So, screw it. Okay. Uh, left arm. There we go. Some of that. And pocketed. There we go. Hey, hey! And it'll end up making all of them before I can actually put them on me. But oh well. Uh, girded. There we are. And pocketed. There we go. Nice. Uh, right arm. Girded. There we are. Pocketed. Perfect. And... Where's the right leg? There it is. Girded. And... Pocketed. Perfect. And we only ran through the majority of our leather supplies. <laughs> oh, well. At least we have better armor now. Uh, have to get all of it on me. There we go. There we are. And we're good. We're good. I think. Yeah, we're all good. Nice. Better armor. Can't really beat that. Now, let's see what we can do with our weapons. Uh, Low-sided powerful pistol. Uh, can we up this? Because the accuracy is starting to piss me off. Uh, short light barrel. That ought to do. Then again, at the same time, I want to see what we can do with this sort of stuff. Um, long light barrel. Long ported barrel. Actually, up the uh, accuracy is not as much, actually. That's a little annoying. Hmm. I'm just getting a look at what we got. And from the look of it, the long light barrel seems to be the best option. Which is weird. Uh, yeah, seems to be the case. Comfort grip. Large quick eject magazine. Eh, for a pistol, that'd be a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't seem right. Compensator muzzle brake. Huh. Inferior range. What do you mean, inferior range? You're inferior range. How about that? Okay. Whatever. I'll make that. Because that actually increases the accuracy quite a bit. And helps with the recoil. Uh, so I might as well go short light barrel when it comes to adding length to the gun. And range and accuracy, really. There we go. That'll work. What do we got when it comes to my 10 millimeter pistol? Uh, short barrel, long light. I could do that. Everything else is rank 2, so I need to wait before I can do that. Long light barrel would be useful, though. So I'm going to do that. Definitely. Definitely do that. Uh, can do sharpshooter's grip now. So I'm definitely doing that, too. I'm making this thing as good as I can. <laughs> quick eject mag, because the large quick eject just looks weird. And I'm much, willing, much more willing to deal with the smaller magazine size than I am to make the gun look weird. <laughs> I'm I'm a doof. Just get used to it, okay? Okay. Glow sights. We do have some nuclear material, so at least we can make the glow sights. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. Considering we'll need nuclear material for the f reflex sights eventually, I'll just leave that alone for now. There we go. Whoa. Did that give me radiation making that? It'd be weird if it did. Uh. Hmm. 
Am I willing to wait for adding the suppressor and muzzle brakes, or am I willing to do the compensator now? It doesn't really impact range all that much. Yeah, I'll go with the compensator. Why not? There we go. A lot of aluminum needed to go into that, though. Good lord. And I have a lot of aluminum as it stands. That's actually pretty good. Alright, this is actually pretty well... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Upgraded. There we go. Do need to get some more into gun nut so I can do some of more this, rather. It's good stuff. Uh, advanced receiver for sure. That's definitely for sure. Because superior damage, better critical... <laughs> and accuracy. I can't speak English today. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> uh, it's too early. Okay. All good when it comes to my 10 millimeter. So I think that's as much as we're going to do. All of this, however, we can probably break down if I really wanted to, but I don't. I'm going to sell that instead. Uh, the knuckles I'll break down. There we go. Take that. Uh, break down one of these. There we go. Minigun. Do I still have? Do I still have that, really? I'm going to put that into a chest in my home that I'm going to make specifically for that <laughs> because I don't want to be carrying this around anymore. I thought it was in my uh, little box for the tools already. That thing, yeah. Uh, look what we can do for this. Uh, we got the long barrel already in there. Can we do this? Whoa. My uh, headset decided to goof off on me there for a second um hmm. we're running out of adhesive so I can't really do much uh doesn't really help with accuracy enough to justify it so I'm not gonna do that um it's not what I want either <laughs> it's definitely not what I want Can I put some better sights on that eh short scope no Reflex sight. Uh, I'd rather put a scope on it. Uh, yeah, that would work. Huh. I think I don't want to do that because I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather leave it as it stands for now. Uh, can we do anything with the shotgun? Da -da -da. I was about to not be able to say the word. Uh, full stock. That'd be awesome, but we can't make that, because that's apparently rank 2, this damn thing. Uh, can we... Yeah, add the powerful receiver. We can do that. That would be nice. For a shotgun, yeah, we might as well. There we go. Uh, standard sights. We don't even really need any sort of sights on a shotgun. Come on, let's be honest here. Uh... Muzzle brake, spiked muzzle brake. That actually gives us some improved bash should we need to go in close. Hmm. Alrighty. That's an idea, but we can't make it. We can't make any of these. So, as it stands, we're just going to leave that alone for now. Can we do anything with this? Anything at all? Not yet, no. The bull barrel is the best barrel, so we're going to save that for later we can do the comfort grip though that's useful we'll just leave that alone we'll do something with that later tactical oh i could have pulled some of the things off of that uh oopsie doodle uh oh well <laughs> i guess uh hindsight's 2020 there we go i'm done building actually preston so now calm down a little bit store some things even though we don't have a lot I think we did quite a lot considering I'm gonna try and break down some things around our house that are useless to me like that chair uh, like this chair really and this table there we go that does it I think uh, that chair is kind of useless to me too TV for sure, but at the same time, I kind of want it here. 
Just because this is where we first heard the news that the nukes were falling. Uh, can we turn this a little bit? We can. Nice. There we go. Now it's actually straight and my brain is calmed <laughs> a little bit when it comes to that stuff. Anyway, I think I'm going to destroy this dresser here to replace it with a safe uh, containers. There we are. Uh, what can we replace it with? Uh, foot locker? No. I'm a metal box. That'll work. That'll work wonders. There we go. Cool beans. Uh, let's drop that thing in there like we were planning. That big old mini gun that we have no need for. and just weighing us down. Okay, anything else? No. Not really. Nothing at all. To be perfectly honest. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Yeah, we're good for now. Just looking at all the uh, other stuff we got. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to end the episode here for right now because I have literally nothing on my brain. <laughs> uh, there's nothing else I can really get going with the amount of time that we have. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so it can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.